Hey everybody, it's Dalton. I'm out here uh, fishing a Ned rig today. And I was just thinking to myself, it's been a while since I got a large mouth at this lake. It's predominantly a spotted bass lake, but I caught me a nice little chunky large mouth. And I got him here on a four inch TRD, just kind of switched it up a little bit, using a little bit bigger worm. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. So let's talk about the Ned rig. I don't think I've done a Ned Rig video this year. I haven't used it as much this year. But as the summer goes on, it starts getting warmer. I get these calm days out here. A Ned Rig is, is one of the baits I'm definitely gonna use. Ned Rig's really simple. I try to change it up a little bit so it's not always the same. Typically, I'll use a short worm, maybe a 2.75. I do like the, the Z-Man um, TRDs because you know, if you watch them in the water, they do lift. They, the, the, the tail of this bait will lift for you. And when you're moving it around, it just uh, it lets the fish see it a little bit better when it's a little bit off the bottom like that. So the TRDs are my favorite Ned Rig baits. Uh, the one I'm using today, it's a TRD, but it's a four inch as opposed to the uh, 2.75. And the reason for that, I'm just trying to find some bigger bites if I can. Uh, this morning, you know, I finally got a largemouth on a, a Ned Rig. I uh, haven't caught a largemouth out here in quite a while. And then the, I also started getting some, uh, some bites from crappie. Crappie started hitting this thing and I was hooking up on some crappie. So the Ned Rig's a fun bait because you can catch so many different fish on it. Let me kind of give you the setup here. Now I went back to my colored line. I had gotten away from it for quite a while and uh, you know what? It's so important to see your line when you're fishing finesse tactics. Come here, buddy. Come here, settle down. There we go. Yeah, the... Ned rig's working today. All right, setup. I'm using a neon lime or lime green 10 pound test suffix 832. It just helps me to see the, the line. Other colors that are real good for it, the ghost color shows up real good. Uh, just your regular, you know, yellow, but it, I like this lime green because it just looks cool on the reel. I got it on an eight pound test, Seaguar and Visix fluorocarbon line. I've got a 10th ounce little finesse shroom head uh, by TRD and then of course the four inch worm. Uh, the way I typically use and, and work a Ned rig is pretty simple. What I do is I cast it out where I want it to go. I wait till it hits the bottom and to be honest with you, most of the time when I'm fishing a Ned rig, I just drag it like a jig. Uh, I know there's all kinds of fancy ways to do it. You can shake your rod, you can do all that, but I get most of my bites just dragging it on the bottom. I let that head just kind of dip down in the mud or hit a little rock or whatever and it just kind of goes over the top and and then I just wait for that that pressure bite because that's what I get a lot of times on a Ned rig. A bass will just grab it and hold on to it. I'll reel down a little bit, take my time and then set the hook. So it really is a, a cool little bait when you want to get a lot of bites, you find a, a good school of bass and, and they will bite this thing. So. This is my Ned Rig video, video for the year. Um, who knows, I may do another one. I like using the weedless Ned Rig in, uh, in uh, uh, lakes that have grass, but this one here, I'm just running an exposed hook. So all kinds of colors. This is a Drew's Craw. I don't know why I like this color so much. It's got some shad, it's got some red flake, it's got what looks like watermelon color on the other side. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. And I just hook it kind of in the middle of the two colors and uh, let them pick what, which one they like. Well, that's about it as far as the Ned Rig. It's a pretty simple bait. I would definitely recommend not using too heavy of a head. It affects the bait. And, and I wouldn't use too heavy a line. It really affects the bait. I would go six or eight pound test and 10 pound test if you're in the weeds or something like that. But that's about as uh, heavy as I'm gonna go unless I go with one of the really big Ned heads. Well, thanks for tuning in everybody. I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time.